cool. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Devin here, and today we're gonna do something that I've been meaning to try for a really long time, and that is acetone vapor smoothing my 3D prints. If you're not familiar with acetone vapor smoothing, it's a technique of basically using acetone to dissolve the layers just enough to smooth everything out and make it nice and glossy. The reason I haven't tried it in all these years is because it only works with ABS, and that's a filament I generally avoid. So ABS plastic is a little more rugged than PLA, which I usually use, but compared to PLA, it's just generally harder to work with. For one thing, it smells a lot more, and it also shrinks more, so it's harder to keep it down on the build plate, and sometimes the layers will come apart as well. But uh, I have plenty of printers by now, and I think they can handle that kind of stuff, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot and do some vapor smoothing, finally. Let's see how it goes. As I was saying, I want to print these models in ABS to effectively vapor smooth them. So today I'm going to be using this Make Shaper ABS. And I'll be doing a two color print with their rich black ABS as well as this Make Shaper Green, which is their unique kind of slime colored ABS. This filament printed absolutely great with no problems other than the fact that the BCN Sigma that I was printing with wasn't properly purging the filament, so that's why there's all these strings in the print. But what you're seeing here is the print that I'm most excited about vapor smoothing, because it's this crazy vase I designed that I call a chromatic vase, because it changes colors depending on the angle that you look at it, just based on the way that I've colored the different edges of the vase. It's nothing too crazy, but I think I pulled it off really well. Here's my setup for this acetone smoothing. I've got a tray and then I've got this glass cylinder that fits pretty well on top of it. The tray is actually just the bottom of an old paint can that I repurposed. I guess they're making paint cans out of plastic now, so this is a polypropylene one that won't react to the acetone. Obviously, a lot of people don't have a spare plastic paint can lying around, but it just happened to be what I had and it works really well. You can get the same effect using a pie tin or a deep dish, or a pan or something. I've also got this wooden stand that I made, and I'm gonna use that to hold up my models. It's just this block of wood that I drilled a hole into and stuck this 3 quarter inch dowel on top of. And I'll just cut this down as small as possible on my bandsaw, since my vase is almost as tall as the glass chamber, and I don't want it touching any of the walls. But before we do that vase, I'm actually gonna smooth this cup first. This is a part of my redesigned cup holder trash can for my car, and I'm a little more willing to use that as a test part, so let's go ahead and set things up. I'm going to take these paper towels and I'm holding them to the edge using magnets. If you don't have a glass container, you can also use a paint can or any kind of plastic that doesn't react to acetone. So I've used plenty of magnets here to make sure that these paper towels are stuck to the side here. I don't want them falling over onto my part. Next you want to pour in some acetone. And as you can see, I made quite a mess because I didn't know how to pour from that container. But basically, you just want enough acetone to soak all those paper towels, get them nice and coated. Next, we're going to fill this tray with some water, which I apparently also don't know how to pour. And then we're going to stick the stand in there, put the cup on top, and then we'll very carefully lower this glass on top of everything. You want to make sure that none of the towels or anything is touching the part because that'll kind of mess things up. And the reason I have water at the bottom is to create a seal to keep the acetone inside. Of course, as it evaporates, it's expanding and you can see it bubbling here on the edges. But after 45 minutes, I remove the lid, being careful not to spill any water on the model. And as you can see, it looks very shiny. And those layers are smoothed out. Although this was a kind of rough print, so you can definitely still see the layer lines. Okay, so that didn't go horribly wrong. So let's go ahead and do the vase. So I'll drop that on top, and as you can see, the stand is just tall enough to hold that vase above the bottom. This time I actually poured the acetone correctly with that opening near the top of the can when you're tilting it. And once again, I soaked the paper towels and dropped it over the part. I actually got a bit distracted and ended up leaving this in the chamber for two hours. But nothing went wrong, and the part actually came out looking really good. The great thing about doing a cold acetone vapor bath is it's a lot more forgiving than if you were to heat up the chamber. 
That's an alternate way that people vapor smooth things, putting them on their printer's heated build plates or on a stove top. But personally, I prefer just waiting a bit longer and doing it this safe and simple way. So here are the other parts of my cup holder trash can and I decided to smooth those as well just to see if the vapor bath affects the dimensions of the part or warps them to the point where I can't put them together anymore. As it turns out, everything still assembled just as good as before the smoothing, so that's pretty great. Now I have a shiny trash can for my car. Finally, I printed out this old VR sculpt of mine to test something with a little more detail. I held this off the surface using a PLA print, which isn't affected nearly as much by the acetone. So let's go ahead and soak those paper towels again. This little spinning technique has served me well, so why change something that works? And I left this one smoothing for about an hour. When I took the lid off this one, I was very impressed. A lot of the layer lines here have been completely smoothed out, and this looks as good if not better than some injection molded parts. Alright guys, so if you can't tell by now, I'm really excited with how well this vapor smoothing works. I mean, it really takes my prints to another level. The vase came out amazing, and the thing I really like about this vapor smoothing, on top of how it looks, is that it's actually making the part physically stronger as well by bonding those layers together after dissolving them a bit. So this vase is like super sturdy. The cup holder also came out really well and it's good to know that parts that fit together still fit together after a little bit of smoothing. So that's a nice thing. You do lose some detail, of course, that's the whole point is to smooth out the detail, but uh, generally it's really cool. I'm a fan. Yeah, I think it would be super fun to try vapor smoothing some ABS 3D pen drawings. So maybe I'll do that soon, but that's it for today. So until next time, I'm Devin, this is Make Anything. Don't forget to stay inspired.